Wow, I can't believe Bubbles called me out for killing that school bus of kids. Well, I guess I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> I'll make sure to go for only the safe targets. Is Commissioner Gordon here? Yes, sir. He's uh, waiting for you down. Don't murder people. Wow, bubbles with the hot take. Shabby loves his cap. Hey, Shabby, you get my good side? We just want to see speedruns, dude. No need for the TED talk. Look at all this new security. How's the guy supposed to break out of here? New patient in the intensive treatment lobby. All non-essential staff to the area. Dumpster fire. Dumps dumpster. I think he's just a dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> He's anything but fire. Leaked Logan Paul training video and it was on Logan Paul's channel. That's not, yeah, that's not leaked. Maybe it was leaked, but he wanted to post it on his channel, so he got the attention, rightfully so. It's a lot easier to set up demonetization for other people posting the video if you do that. Well, if you don't like him frames from the things that you've heard, it's not like he stopped existing. Think about his perspective. He's an entertainer. He's a known name online and in the world. And he made some mistakes and he got exposed for it. So what's he gonna do? Like, stop uploading videos? Stop going on the internet? Stop posting on Twitter? And just like get a job at Walmart for the rest of his life? Like, that's what you expect him to do? If you had his position of millions and millions of followers, that's what you would do? You would go, dang, I used my one mistake card. Gotta go. People are so easy to cancel when, I don't know, when they have no idea what it's like to be a personality. Because your mistakes aren't on the internet. At all. He's good. Get the door open. I've done, like, dozens of, like, dark and stupid things as a kid. Morbid things, stupid things. I've said dumb stuff, dumb, done terrible things to certain people and stuff. But those people are not, like, innocent either. The people that I've hurt. Because they've done... We've all... And I've been hurt by people that are... Done the same thing either. You know, everyone, everybody does dumb stuff. Everybody gets hurt. Everybody's the herder at some point in their life, you know? Get ready. Keep your weapons trained on it at all times. What's it doing? And he didn't do it and show a bunch of kids. He just put it on YouTube. He didn't tell kids to watch it. His audience is his audience. <laughs> he didn't, like, go bring it into a preschool and go, like, Hey, kids! That reminds me. I really need to get me some new... 
What a terrible way to word that. He showed a dead body to kids. No. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> like, what? I don't even like him, and I wouldn't say he did that. <laughs> Not where you're going. <laughs> the night is young, Vance. I yeah, he seems like a pretty just normal, above-average guy. And if you guys had, like, a hundred followers, you would panic and cut your head off. I thought I told you to stay quiet. Oh, Frankie. There's... You really should learn to keep I don't know the term for it, but it's it's sort of like... It'll get you into Like, I don't know. Tell me something. It's like a negative Never confirmation anxiety thing. What are you really where when you're in the public oh, eye, much. you're constantly worried that you'll do something here. wrong. All and that'll that lie. that anxiety increases the chances of a bad thing happening. All thanks to you and the book of matches. Was that the answer you wanted? Like the, the thought in your head, don't mess up, don't mess up, don't mess up, don't mess up. Is gonna make something mess up more is gonna be more likely for something to mess up. What's he doing? Stay where you are. Get a flashlight. Get a light on him. <coughs> what? Don't you trust me? <coughs> yeah, people do that anyway, but it really grows when you have a following. It's annoying. And people, like, Dr. Disrespects is another one. Cheating on your wife. I wouldn't do that if I had every woman in the world wanting me. Oh, you wouldn't. You wouldn't, you perfect specimen, you. Long night, Jet. Now let's get this party started. Ladies and maniacs, I apologize for this interruption to your regular entertainment. When you're in the person, when you're, when you're in, like, the public eye and you have, like, you're used to, like, being in the spotlight sometimes. And you have that anxiety. But you can't, ha like, you can't have that anxiety otherwise. It's, like, not a... You just can't. So, like, when you're another streamer or, like, someone, like, another content creator or just, like, another celebrity and you see that happen... It's like you instantly understand the real issue. Gordon, try and contact the warden. Let him know what's happened. But everybody who's a viewer g gives like their opinion, which is has zero value. Zero value. If you think I'll let you run. And that's why him and his wife are still together cuz she understands. Oh, good night, Tapin. Thanks for being here. Because all the other content creators, whenever they see somebody else doing something wrong like that, they're just like, oh man, his mentality got to him or something, you know? Like, uh, when Jack Nicholson heard that, uh, Heath Ledger overdosed and killed himself after doing the Joker role, you know, if you're, like, a viewer, you're like, 
trapped in this chamber. Oh, what a stupid idiot to do drugs like that. But he could have been, like, the, the most intelligent, experienced man in the world, and he still would have done it, you know? So. Sorry, feed's down. Comms are up and down like crazy. It's not good. I'll keep trying. Yeah, it's very easy. Logan Paul's mistake. He got punished so much more harder, like, by everybody's opinions. But yeah, that's just because everyone's stupid as shit. Not, not you though, Frames, I'm just saying, like, uh... Joker's been planning this. <sighs> Thanks, Arkham Asylum. You're always there for me. Batman's here. Just hold on a little longer, Steve. I can't. You believe you left me here? What a terrible start because of that. It would have been better. It would have been so much better. The gargoyle took a long time. Enemies got hit and then went behind environmental objects so the combos got stuck. Yeah, you just uh, you cannot know what it's like at all. A lot of people have to like, like when it comes to cheating though, a lot of people have to convince themselves that they're like, that they're in like, that they're like in love, and that the person that they're with is perfect for them and everything. Quick, get in here before like, more of them come. Well, you came across probably like a very small sample of people in your life. You chose one of them because. You only have so much patience, you're not gonna like wait your whole life for perfect, you're just, you know, you're gonna want somebody eventually. So, let's use an example, like, let's say you're 20 years old, you've seen probably like 5,000 different women in your life, like cross your eyeballs, you know? You learn their name, you, they cross your eyes. You learn a bit about them, and then you do that guy mode analyze where you're like... Where you're like, you give a rating and then you think to yourself, can I date them, and then... Can I tolerate being around them? And then one person out of that 5,000 might be, might feel like the one. Because they make you laugh and stuff a little bit. And they're attractive. And they, they don't like... They don't have many problems. Oh my god, I love you. You're the one. When in reality, they're just the best among that 5,000. And then let's say you become super duper famous. After you marry them and stuff. And then by age 25, five years later, you've come across... Not literally, but you've, uh, you've encountered and scanned and processed another 100,000 women in your life through all these events, uh, promotions, travels, Twitter, everything, everything that you go through. And you're really gonna tell yourself that those like 100,000 new people, none of them are better than one of the 5,000 that, that you interacted with? So, hey, 
and they all treat you like a god. Like you're the best shit ever. <laughs> like, that wife that you met when you were 20 might just be happy to be with you and stuff. But all those, all those new people are like, holy shit, you just made my life by talking to me. So Dr. Disrespect gets that, like, every day, and then goes to an event. Get back in there and raise some lunch, boy. <sighs> it's so hard, like a male- it's so hard for a male brain to just, like, convince itself otherwise to do something else, you know? Thank you, London, for the hundred bits. Okay, monsters, no one Shoot it. Because in a guy's brain, there's constant thoughts about, like, pride and being masculine and, and sex. So it's, it takes a lot of mental, uh, an insane amount of mental strength that they never get thanked for. Never. <laughs> to just reject, like, something that your brain naturally sends a signal to you every second of the day, you know? so dumb so yeah it's just people people make mistakes and stuff but I'm just really happy I made my biggest mistakes before I started streaming cuz I still made them I still did really stupid stuff before I started streaming and being online but you guys don't know what that stuff is And if you suddenly did know, then you would just treat me differently, even though I would be the same exact person, you know? Like, you like to dig up history to, to figure out what kind of person they used to be. Like, when's this gonna, like, be too ridiculous, you know? Like, I heard that when Bubbles was three months old, he was shitting his pants and eat Cheerios off the floor and just puke and cry all the time. I, I can't watch him anymore. <laughs> yeah. Guys, I was three months old. You all did the same thing. No, when I was three months old, I got straight A's, and I never did drugs, okay? <laughs> it's like, that's just... That's, that's just like... Hey, you guys all are. People have to grow and learn, but they're not allowed to do that online. Because they have the responsibility... To be uh, an influencer, even if they don't want to be. Harley tells me that the Batman's car is still parked just outside of the event. But then, if you're too young, Oracle. 
and you're online and you don't want to like show the moments where you're growing and learning from your mistakes then you have to only show the good parts which isn't possible nobody has only good parts so if you're doing that then you're just fake so yeah that's why a lot of people on the internet are really fake because they don't want to be real because real includes mistakes and mistakes equals canceling Oh yeah, yeah. I need to isolate a trail in the crime scene around the Batmobile that'll lead to Yeah, absolutely. That's the worst part because if you get caught for your mistake, it's so much easier to just make an excuse than it is to just own up to it. Because people hate admitting that they were wrong so much. And that is a mistake in itself. Yeah. Just let me welcome you to your new home. Here in Idiot Asylum, we have just one. Yeah, people underestimate how much uh, respect you get for owning up to stuff. Like, uh, people that box or are in, like, MMA fighting and stuff, whenever they get caught for using performance enhancing drugs, there's always two things that either happen. The fighter goes, this is bullshit, the test was inaccurate, it's wrong, I would never cheat. Or they go, yeah, it was really stupid. All I'm thinking about is the fight, and all I want to do is win. And I'm getting a lot of anxiety about not being good enough. So I tried it. And I wasn't in a good mindset, but I'm learning from this, and I won't do it again. Why does he need the doctor? I got to save them. People like respect that so much. Dude. But it's very, it's a very mature thing to own up to mistakes. And kids are, or people that are really young are the people that make the most mistakes because you learn from mistakes. And so if you're older and if you've already learned from the mistakes from your youth, then you're less likely to say, do, do stupid stuff, you know? So it's kind of like, you know, unfortunate that The one thing that you lack when you make mistakes is maturity. And that's the one thing that you need when you make a mistake. So. Like, if you really were mature enough to own up to the mistake, then you probably wouldn't have done it in the first place, you know? That's why I hate it when people apologize. Whenever they say something stupid in the chat. I say this a lot when someone comes in the stream and they say something stupid. And they're offensive without realizing it. I call them out. I'm like, that was stupid. Stop talking. Don't apologize. Because they want to go, oh, I'm sorry. Like, just it's just an empty sorry. Father. They're not actually sorry. They didn't learn from that. They're just going to, like, never come in the chat again and then do it in another channel.
So. It is, yeah. People have terrible perception. They don't know, they can't like, imagine what it's like to be in someone else's shoes. It wasn't Gordon. Crane's gas must have affected and they Gordon think that everything that they do is easy, and everything that everyone else does is hard. There's just huge perception it issues. It. It really does. Frames, you're fine. I'm just talking about the subject. I haven't thought about you or personally been addressing you for like the last 10 15 minutes. Probably more than that, this whole run, probably. Don't worry about it. Sure, you were wrong about being so quick to judge Logan, but so is everybody. I'm not talking about you. You're not his audience. <laughs> you took longer than I thought. <laughs> that happens often. People like uh will encourage a topic to be talked about. And then I'll rant about something. And then like an hour later they're like, I'm so sorry. I didn't know I hurt you that badly. <laughs> like, saved an unfortunate inmate from leaping off into the rocks below. I found a cave entrance and over the years have moved a number of supplies here. Get back in there and make some lunch, boy! Home away from home. London, thanks for the 100 bits. It is. Alien Noir. Raise some lumps. He's here! Great. You're dead, Batman. I love getting stuck on things. 
I don't think I'll do that anymore, but I think it's fast. But I still don't think I'll do it anymore. Yeah, if you guys haven't given me money yet, you're kind of not really being a good viewer, so fix that. I still see the shadows in my Get way. back in there and raise some lunch, boy! Thank you, London, for the 100 bits. I donate my respect. Hell yeah, gamer. The only thing I respect more than Bubbles Del Fuego is women. single and alone but that's just because I'm waiting for the right one guys a girl talked to me today I think she's the one I told you I was waiting for the one. <laughs> uh, Rise. Do you know what? A, do you know what a joke is, Rise? <laughs> it's okay, man. Sometimes we don't know. Yeah, I kept a little piece of my So when you're when you're single and you're a guy or yeah, I guess. And you're not like hot. Get back in there and raise some lunch, boy. If you're single, a guy, and you're not hot, whenever a girl talks to you, thank you, London, for the hundred bits. Whenever a girl talks to you, you're like, ah, oh, girl talked to me today. And that gives you a little bit of confidence. So, I'm with somebody now, and I've been with someone for a long time now. And I don't want anybody to talk to me about them. I'm done. I'm blocked. I'm taken. Sorry, boys. But. It still kind of feels nice if you're, you know, if somebody doesn't think that you're taken and they're like, hey, how you doing? You're immediately like, oh, I'm not going to talk to you. I'm taken. I don't even want to deal with this. I should probably avoid talking to you. This, you know, just out of respect for my partner, etc., etc. But that little kid in you that never got to get any attention in high school or something is still in there and it's going, this feels nice. 
It kind of feels nice to, like, you know. But still, what's best is that, uh... What's best is that I still, like, get that feeling when my actual girlfriend messages me and stuff. That's when you know you, like, found a good one. When the person that you've been with for a long time messages you, and you're like, Ooh, they sent me a message! And <laughs> like... Yeah, nothing can top that, though. Nothing can top that. It's like if you're rich and you find 20 bucks in the ground, you know? You're like, sweet, 20 bucks. What the heck? This is awesome. It's like the same thing. Just having someone else think that you're worth their time feels not feels nice. Instead of just one person, you know. Cause if only one person thinks you're awesome, there's always the thought in your head of like, alright, that person's insane. They don't know what they're talking about. But if like multiple people like you and stuff, it really helps you like not feel like you're worthless. You hear lesbians have real trouble because none of them know when to talk to someone? Yeah, I hear lesbian dating is really rough. Because they're one of the most, like, shy and all talk people ever. Because it's so used to, like, a guy and the girl, and the guy is always put at the risk of, like, you know, giving the first move. Or initiating something. That's, that's like, traditional guy behavior. Like how the guy proposes whenever it's a marriage. That's, like, traditional. So it's just, like, a girl and a girl. Oftentimes I see, like, I, I see the lesbian joke of, like, two hot lesbians... Hanging out with each other on a date, and they really both like each other, but nothing is going to ever happen. But then, like, when they're on their alt account on Twitter or something, they're gonna be all like, Oh, I can't wait to find a woman and destroy them with my other, other equally hot woman body. And, <laughs> it's like, and then when they see a woman, they're just like, Ah! Ah! <laughs> it's like... <laughs> It's like they finally understand what it's like to be a guy. Like, okay, bro, I can't can't go out drinking with you tonight. I got a date. You're like, all right, man. Hope you don't go to prison. That's like <laughs> that's an average guy conversation. Mom, can you pick me up from jail? I gave a girl some eye contact and uh, the, the cops tackled me. Oh, that was weird. So yeah, that is that is a a, a a funny thing I see often. A lesbian problem.
Because when you're a guy, y you assume the level of uh, discomfort that a woman has. And you take it slow when you're really careful and you're patient. So you don't make them uncomfortable. But when you're a woman, you don't have to assume how uncomfortable a woman can get. Because you're a woman, you know how, how uncomfortable you can get. So, like, if you're if you're a woman and you're dating another woman, you're just like, how is this? How is anything going to happen? <laughs> it was a mistake to even talk to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for inconveniencing you. I know how much you're probably hating this right now. Are those guys gonna die? What are they doing up there? Oh, they are gonna die! That was funny. Oracle, I'm done. Harley. That sounds funny, all mother. That's why I like the whole ignorance is bliss thing. Because it's kind of... There's a little bit of a silver lining behind not knowing if, if something makes somebody uncomfortable. Because people don't know this until they do it, but they like- people like to get taken out of their comfort zone, you know? Raises their confidence. Conditions them, you know? Hopefully this can PV. Hopefully. Can't wait for everyone on YouTube to know what they're talking about and then for me to ignore all their comments. <laughs> Hi YouTube, love you guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Got any Twitch Prime subs in the chat, boys? Hey, Hungarian guy.
No, why did I click that? Everything's okay. Go back in the map, speedrunning police. We will, we will pull over. Joker's men are all wearing the security I'll need to take out the operator first. Joker wanted the entrance to the Titan production plant guard. I should pick up Harley's trail again so I can find it. Don't let him find me! Maybe you should get it, Octane. It's nice and warm, especially for this winter. I heard this winter was going to have snow in it. It's kind of unoriginal. to need something to get over this ravine. Why didn't the Australian go to work? He was fired. He got bit by a poisonous kangaroo. <laughs> Some speedrunners uh, are in contact with the developer, or it's the other way around. Some devs are in contact with the speedrunners and speedruns. Bethesda pretty much doesn't acknowledge them publicly, uh, and Rocksteady doesn't either, from my experience. Um, uh, FromSoft kind of does, a little bit, when Dark Souls 3 came out. Chef Toad almost won a bunch of money doing that. But then he got Billy Mitchelled. Nah, Bethesda knows about glitches that are involved with speedruns because they've patched that kind of stuff out. Like, they've sent out patches for glitches that were only useful for speedrunners. That pod Jesus. appears to contain similar spores to the ones Ivy used to attack Gotham last year. They're deadly. <laughs> uh, 
That's that's typically speedrunning problems. Somebody was faster than me, but they were a real dick about it. Is like the story of all speedrun problems. No! Ah, uh, I was right to move a little bit more, but I moved barely too much. I didn't lose the run or anything, just lost the time from falling right there. Favorite trick. I love this trick. Mmm, it's my favorite. It feels so good to do it. sucks. We've all, not we've all, but a lot of us have been there, uh, Sheep Lube. Chef Toad. Why was I obsessed with calling you Sheep Load? Sheep Load. Chef Toad. What's going on? <laughs> Pump the brakes. Exactly. I can't, my brain wouldn't stop. I still don't know who you are. <laughs> like I thought my sheep load. Did it, suckers. See, that's the same inputs in the same time frame and everything. Spores don't contain enough of the anti -venom mold. I got it first try on that on that spore, but I didn't get it on the door. Kind of rhymes. Does that make me kind of cool? Shit. Oh, I got it for that one too. What a gamer I am. <laughs> That's worrying. I think I get it. They're like, Sheep Lube? Oh, what brand do you use? Is the lube water-based? Depends on how much what the water to, to liquid sheep ratio there is. Picking up boot, picking up boogers with your fingers. 
just gamer things. Boogers. Oh my god! Like three out of five. No, that was probably worth it, Hungarian guy. Clever. Oracle, I'm getting out of here. What about Croc? He won't be a problem. Compared to these splits, this runs pretty okay, yeah. Scan and open. Fun game, cool game. <sighs> that prompt loves to troll me. That worked out really well. Oracle, we I want to shake your hand. I just want to shake his hand. I love that guy. The guy in the plane. Nothing that simple. I'm at the main sewer junction. Is that who we're talking about? I hope it is. Wow. I know it's not, but... Now?
Come on. I cannot begin to describe the size of this pog right now. What do you think you can do, Batman? Or maybe I just did. I am everywhere. My babies know your every move. You guys you and your all blown away by time save is insulting. Us. You will fail. And wow, what a surprise, Bubbles. You save time. The most powerful force on the planet. Get Mom, get the camera. You will pay, Batman. It's some rare footage of Bubbles not sucking. When I finish with Batman, I'll be All of my runs are perfect, okay? You guys are just opening your eyes now. So you're here at last. Do you like what I've done with the place? My babies are growing, Batman. Come and see. <laughs> Such rich food for my babies. Hey, one time I reset because it was a sub's fault. Come to me. Ivy's waiting. I've got myself a little security, Batman. Wait, no, wait, no. Maybe bad. They'll just die if anything Good things. I didn't pick up that Riddley trophy, so my health might suck for this fight. We'll just try to not die. Give in to a more powerful force, Batman. Be ah! Why didn't she die? Like, before that. I almost died there because, like, four batterings weren't damaging her. That was really dumb. Don't do it, My health comes back now, but if I got hit by one more thing, I would have died. There's so many batterings. 
You won't escape me, Batman! Save me from the evil bat! Oh yeah, if you did get in a cheese spot, just constant batarangs. You'd probably die though, because the uh the orange the node things. Okay. This is probably one of the hardest splits in the run though. You want to finish the fight near the door, of course. Please, please work. Yes, that could have not worked, and the run would have been over really fast. Okay. Are you excited, Bats? I mean, we've been let me in, let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Yeah, this fight sucks. Do anything? I'm dead. No, I'm not dead. I'm getting hit. Ugh, go back. Okay. I don't know what'll happen with that. It wasn't the worst thing ever. Not. It's not what the fight's supposed to look like, but that's, like, your best backup plan is to just, like, take out the titans as fast as you can, I guess. Excuse me, Bats! In 
you come, boys, I've softened them up for you. That looks like it hurt, that. I think that was my route. Get it? Don't make me laugh, but he's the Joker. Thank you, London, for the 100 bits again. Get back up there, Joker. What are you doing? I was still in the combo. Oh, I saved time. Okay. Personal best. We talked about some very politically correct topics here. I'm very happy we put this run on YouTube. Thank you, London, for the 100 bits one more time there. Thank you so much. Yeah, this one time I beat my Fallout 4 record by like a second, but I didn't upload it to anywhere because... I talked about really stupid stuff for like 45 minutes. Thank you, iCal, for the M. I'll survive. See you tonight, Barbara. Shame about your car. Why is the timer Give blue? Because I'm blue. But I have one on the way. Get some rest. You deserve it. Stay safe, Jim. I'd like to dedicate this run to Logan Paul. and lesbians. <laughs> <laughs> 